What is a daily huddle? A daily huddle is an opportunity for a team of people to get together on a daily basis for five to 15 minutes to basically discuss tactical things. This is not a strategy meeting. This is tactical. What are we doing today? What happened yesterday? Where are we going? And then some brief updates. So the purpose is number one, to provide accountability on what you committed to do the day before or the week before, if you're coming back from the following Friday. Okay, that's the number one thing. If there's issues blocking you, if you have challenges, you wanna discuss those, how you get over them. And another benefit, a purpose, is that everybody on the team then understands what everybody else is doing. And if you're all going in the same direction, that's a good thing because you're kind of interacting as you go and you want to eliminate assumptions. You want to eliminate people guessing, okay, or wondering and if they can't reach people. So you have this morning check-in. It's almost always done in the morning. And then what happens is when you're handling these tactical things on a day-by-day basis, it makes your weekly team meetings much more efficient, much more effective. Jeff, any questions so far? Am I on track? Yeah, I have one question. That is, yeah. uh, so do you, you're talking about this in a team perspective. How big should that team be? Is this a company-wide thing or is it just individual four to five person teams? Yeah, I mean, I would think these, these are individual teams. So I think the U.S. military believes the best team is four people. I don't know whether that's four people plus a leader or it's four people total. Uh, I've talked with one guy who was running a help desk and he was managing 15 people. That's the biggest team I've heard under one person. But yeah, this is a daily check-in uh, of a team and then uh, getting that team all on the same page, going in the same direction. But also, as I mentioned, that number one thing, providing some respectful, empathetic, but firm accountability of, hey, you committed to do X yesterday. Did you do X? And what's the status of that? Got it. Okay. I mean, each team member might only speak for about a minute or two minutes. So the format is really simple. As I said, it's like a five to 15 minute meeting. Now, Rob Betzel, who wrote the company Culture Challenge with me, used to start these meetings at 7.43 a.m. every day. Okay, every workday, 7.43 a.m., you are there, you are on time. Another thing is, this is not a kickback, let's talk strategy, let's discuss things meeting. This is typically a standing meeting. You don't want to get people to get comfortable. You don't want a bunch of laptops in there. You don't want that type of thing. Maybe they need to take a quick note on their phone. It's a standing meeting and you follow a map agenda. We talked about the map agenda, right? So the M stands for metrics, okay? So that's the accountability. You committed to do what yesterday? Did you get it done? Next is the adjustments. Here's where I need help. Here's something new, whatever you discuss. And then P is plan. So remember, you're on your map. You're going from point A to point B. You're trying to get somewhere each day. And so that's why each person reports in. Okay, here's what I committed to yesterday. Here's what I got done. Here's the status. Boom, I got no problems. Or boom, I got this issue. Or Charlie, I need to know this from you. Maybe we can talk about it after this meeting, but I need to check in with you on this. And my plan for today is my big things I'm getting done are X, Y, Z. Done. You check in. Anybody's got questions, they can ask questions. The leader can ask questions. The leader can, you know, hold people accountable. Hopefully the leader is also balancing the accountability with some encouragement. Oh, that's great. You got that done. Good job. I checked that. I saw the notes on it, whatever it is. And that's really it. I mean, that's a daily huddle. It's a quick check-in. So everybody on the team is informed. People are uh, have the information they need to make decisions to do their stuff. And they're also aware of what you're doing, which can be helpful in case they need to reach out to you. What did I miss? Anything? I don't know. It sounds reasonable to me. I was going to ask what kind of things do you leave or do, do you not talk about in the daily huddle and, and leave for the weekly team meeting? Team meeting is going to be more strategy. Uh, you're still going to have some tactics. But that weekly team meeting, you're going to come together. You're going to say, okay, here's what we accomplished. Same map agenda, okay? Here's what we accomplished. Here's what we're doing on our metrics we're supposed to be achieving. Maybe number of billable hours, maybe sales if you're a sales team, maybe uh, accounts receivable, how many accounts outside, out, out of whack or whatever. Whatever it might be, you've got some metrics. So you hit on the metrics. There's accountability at the front end. Are we doing what we're supposed to be doing? Then you can walk into the adjustments phase. You may talk about a new product, a new employee, 
something new that came up. You may talk about a problem. You know, we had a client calling the boss last week because the client didn't hear from you guys last week. You didn't follow up the way you're supposed to. What are you going to do about it? So you have the adjustments phase. And as you're going through that metrics part and the adjustments part, you're then defining, okay, what are we doing for the plan for this upcoming week? That then, you know, tapers into that daily huddle. Does that make sense? Yeah, it sounds like the daily huddles just to check in, let's connect, make sure we're all on the same page and cover any urgent issues. And then the team meeting really covers a wider range and get, uh, gets a little bit more in depth on, uh, you know, measuring progress and, and resolving issues and making adjustments and planning for the next uh, step. Exactly, exactly. And, and with both a daily huddle and a team meeting, you may have larger topics where you're going to touch base on them, but then you're going to say, okay, well, let's meet after this meeting, set the time right then and there in the huddle or in the team meeting. Let's meet after this meeting. We can dive in deeper, pull out your schedule on your phone, get it worked out. But yeah. And if you're disciplined about these, you're going to find that your team is marching much more cohesively together to achieve key objectives. It's going to eliminate problems, not only within the team, but within the clients that you serve. Sounds good. Okay. Well, go do it. Give it a try. Uh, contact us, email us, info at manage to win.com. If you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, we can pass along. Really love to hear from you. Thanks for being with us.